Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to talk about can you maintain the Tesla Model Y's battery with just a regular 110 outlet? So for normal charging, we just use our regular uh, 1450 uh, plug. We got this in plug installed in 2019 when we got our Model 3. Uh, it cost about 300 bucks to get installed, and it's worked great. Um, and that's what we use on a regular basis. But a lot of people don't have access to either a garage uh, to install one or maybe they're renting a home. Um, so the co question comes up all the time is, hey, can you maintain your Model Y or your Tesla in general, which is a regular 110 outlet? So this is what this experiment is all about. So we got home from work today with 68%, uh, giving us 22% to get to our charge daily charge limit of 90%. So the question is, if it's 712 now and we're going to leave for work tomorrow, roughly at 6.30, giving us, you know, roughly 11 hours. Hey, can we get to our 90% state of charge? Again, we're using a regular 110 outlet. So this is just the regular plug that sits outside of our house, uh, plugged into the Tesla. And we've kind of done this before a couple times. Uh, similar at our parents' houses whenever we go to Houston or sometimes when we visit friends um, and they don't have a, a regular charge and we don't really want to mess with um, you know going to superchargers the real question is hey can you get enough battery to you know maintain you to the next location or until you can supercharge so with our charge limit of 90 percent uh, meaning we have 22 percent uh, to go uh, if you look at this um, it, basically 251 miles for the 4680 model y would be 90 percent and right now we're at 191 miles so, so basically we need to be able to add 60 miles back into the battery or 22% back into the battery over the next 11 hours uh, in order to get back up to the 90% charge. Now for this experiment, we do have uh, it set at 12 amps. Uh, now just depending on where you're at, sometimes I'll lower this. So like if I'm not in a rush and I really don't care, um, Again, 12 amps is the most you ever want to pull, well, the most you can pull from a 110 outlet. Uh, but sometimes just to be on the safe side, I'll lower it to like 10 amps, uh, just so I'm not gonna like blow any circuits. Uh, but since we are doing this experiment, we'll leave it at, we'll leave it at 12 amps and we'll, we'll check back in periodically to see how the charge progress is going. And we will note that we're getting basically four miles per hour. Uh, so again, you know, you can kind of do the math, four miles per hour if it's, if we do, 12 hours at this rate uh you know that's basically what 48 miles added so it really just depends on how much you're driving per day but we're definitely going to see this out and see what we get at the end of this experiment all right good morning so we've been monitoring the app overnight to uh to look at the the charge rate and again the predicted was four to five miles per hour um, it's 7 a.m. now and we put it in right before 7 p.m. So about 12 hours of charging, which I think for most people this is realistic. Whenever you get home from work, you know, how much time are you going to actually have to charge? Okay, so let's look at the numbers. So again, it's been 12 hours of charging. Uh, we've added 14 kilowatt hours, so pretty good over 12 hours of just that regular 110 outlet. And um, we've added basically, we've gone from 68% all the way up to 88 percent so we've added 20 percent which to me um if you if you're using 20 percent battery on like for short drives on a day to me that's pretty you know pretty within reason um and then again you can kind of see it from this angle so we went i think we we're down like 184 we went up to 245 we added 56 miles so so, pr so pretty good and i think this kind of validates the experiment for a lot of people um, and again it's it's case by case on you know what your driving habits are but for a lot of people who have you know fairly short commutes even with just a regular 110 outlet if you plug it in every night you know for 10 to 12 hours you can put back you know 20 percent of the battery in the vehicle so um, really depending on how much you drive this could work for a lot of people um, the other option that uh, people could do is if you drive more than say 50 60 miles a day say if you're driving 100 miles a day what you could do is you could trickle charge in the 56 miles overnight you know 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then maybe on Thursday you go supercharge to catch back up, right? So it's maybe slowly you're you're getting down in the battery, right? Um, and then every three days you you supercharge. I suppose having a supercharge every day that could be another option, right? So there's combinations for for stuff. Also, some people have chargers at work. That's another option, right? So like if you can you know get to work and you can charge, and it, even if it's a trickle charge, if you could trickle charge at work and trickle charge at home. That's another option, right? You, there's, there's, there's lots of ways to, to, to get this done. Um, and the further the adoption for EVs goes and happens, the easier it will be to get done. So yeah, uh, successful experiment. Um, again, we could have easily put it in the garage and, and use the regular NEMA 1450. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to just to document for everyone out there who's curious about if I get this 4680 Model Y, if I get any, any Model Y or Model 3 or any Tesla, can I survive off trickle charge? And again, it's, it's case by case, but I think a combination of trickle charge and then the occasional supercharge uh, can definitely get you there. Well, thank you for watching this quick video. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the sub button. Thanks a lot and have a great day.